Good evening. As you've just heard and as you've seen from the evening's program in front of you, this year's CJF Lifetime Achievement Award goes to Knowlton Nash. Knowlton is not only a colleague, a friend, and mentor to all of us, he's also someone who holds a special place in the history of Canadian journalism. From selling papers as a boy to writing for international publications to being one of this country's top foreign correspondents, Knowlton always put the story first. An undying dedication to his work and a natural instinct for storytelling have made him a trusted voice to Canadians for decades. I'm Knowlton Nash. The President of the United States has the most impossible job. In the late in the 50s, he became the public broadcaster's Washington correspondent. A passion for politics fueled his stories. In 1969, he switched gears and became the CBC's head of news and information programming. He was foxy and cunning beyond belief. He played the CBC like a violin. He was always better acquainted with the president or the influential politicians, and he would let his masters know that they were being watched and they better do the right thing by journalism. He may have invented spin. But without doubt, his most public role was sitting in this very chair. Well, maybe not this exact chair, but for a decade, millions of Canadians tuned in to watch Uncle Nolte give them the nightly news. The National with Knowlton Nash. Good evening and welcome to our new hour. The only question now is, will he take every single state in the country? It's a landslide for Ronald Reagan. And that's the National for Wednesday, October the 31st. I'm Knowlton Nash. Good night and happy new, happy new Year. Happy Halloween. You know, it's, it's a nice little 14-hour day. But, you know. <laughs> With such devotion to his work, it didn't always make Knowlton's personal life easy. But Lorraine Thompson changed all that. I think after six years, we'd lived together longer than he'd ever been married to anybody before. Norton has a very active mind. His mind is always busy. And so, therefore, he likes to have work going on all the time, something that he can concentrate on. Norton is also part of the reason you are here tonight, rewarding excellence in journalism. Norton Nash is a founding member of the Canadian Journalism Foundation. In some ways, I think of journalists as teachers. We really are. Maybe it's a bit flattering to ourselves to call ourselves teachers, but I really think we are teaching people what's happening, where it's happening, and thereby doing a real, a real important service to the country. Knowlton remains uh, the most balanced, least prejudiced journalist of all time. He will not speak out on any controversial issue unless it is uh, the... Uh, principles of journalism and the independence of journalism. That the only way that Canadian broadcasters can really succeed in the 21st century will be to have more Canadian programming. Thank you very much. I think he reminds most journalists that this is about taking the high road. That there are standards, uh, that there are principles, that ethics is an important part, that fairness is an important part of what we do. And as I say, I think that may be, in today's atmosphere, the most important job that he's ever had. Also, a celebrated author. His most recent book, The Swashbucklers, is a history of private broadcasting in Canada. In 1989, he was made an officer of the Order of Canada. In 1995, he was given the John Draney Award. His career has always been based on integrity and hard work, two guiding principles he has always tried to instill in others. It's an honor for me to play a small part in this evening's tribute to a great journalist and a great friend. Best wishes to you, Knowlton, on an award truly deserved. Good night, good night, good night. So until the next time, I'm Knowlton Nash with CBC News. Good night. Peter. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Mark. Yeah. Holy mackerel. Everything. <laughs>